Welcome to What's New in Autodesk Revit 2014. My name is Armando Darling and I'm the Senior Technical Marketing Manager for AEC. And I'm joined today by Tomas Fudala, the Technical Marketing Manager for AEC. As you can see, this presentation includes a combination of new and enhanced features for all Autodesk Revit 2014, Autodesk Revit Architecture 2014, Autodesk Revit MEP 2014, and Autodesk Revit Structure 2014 software. Autodesk Revit 2014 is only available as part of the premium and ultimate versions of Autodesk Building Design Suite 2014. Let's begin by taking a look at the platform features which span across all industries, as well as features specific for architects. Now in addition to energy analysis for conceptual massing elements, you can perform energy analysis using detailed Revit models. The building element simulation option creates an energy analytical model directly from your Revit building elements and sends it to the Autodesk Green Building Studios for simulation using DOE 2.2. Once the analysis is complete, you can review and compare results as you continue to iterate the model and inform your design decisions. This innovative new algorithm automatically identifies and places analytical spaces and surfaces and creates GBXML. This new feature works both with and without the placement of Revit rooms and space objects, thereby facilitating whole building energy simulation with as little as one click. The tool also accounts for more complex model geometry like slope walls, varying wall thicknesses, and plenum spaces. There is no need to prepare the model for analysis or rebuild a separate model. Bottom line, you can conduct more reliable and repeatable whole building energy analysis with less time and skill. Architects, MEP and structural engineers, and contractors can create exploded views of any 3D view including perspective. Exploded views can be used to illustrate the relationship model elements have to the model as a whole. This information can be used in construction documents to show design intent. In any 3D view, including perspective, model elements can be moved by using the Displace Elements tool. You use this tool to create displacement sets and move them along the X, Y, and Z axes to a specified distance away from the model. Then you can draw a path that connect these elements back to their original model location. The benefit is that you can visualize the building elements and how they're connected with the ability to create exploded 3D diagram views. Revit has previously enabled the following dialog windows to dock or stick to the left, right, top and bottom of the Revit application window. Now the following windows can be moved and resized and either floated or docked. That's the project browser, the system browser, the properties palette, and the reconcile hosting window. They can also be grouped so that several windows represented by tabs occupy the same space on the screen. Bottom line, you can use the tabs to work more efficiently with the familiar workflow for dialog windows. In this release, new user interface options enable you to configure the double click behavior to edit families, sketched elements, views and schedules on sheets, as well as assemblies, groups, and component stairs. These default actions may be modified in the Options tab on User Interface and the Double Click Options. In the Customizable Double Click Settings dialog box, you can specify double click behavior for entering edit mode for the mentioned element types. 